Samsung Galaxy Watch unboxing and review. That video is coming up right now. Let's go. So what is up guys, Nick here helping you to master your technology and welcome to the Samsung Galaxy Watch unboxing 46 millimeter edition here, Bluetooth compatibility obviously. And this was the Samsung watch that was released with the Note 9. I didn't pick it up when I got that one, but I have it now. So let's go ahead and review this guy after the unboxing. This actually has some of the longest battery life you're gonna find on any smartwatch. It does have obviously wellness and fitness tracking, supports 39 plus different workouts, and it's swim ready water resistance. You can see right there up to 50 meters. I mean, most watches can go pretty deep however though. Now you can see it does say Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, GPS right there and what it contains in the box and you can get a ton of different wrist straps for it on Amazon so do keep that in mind as well. Let's go ahead and get into the box here and you can see there is the Galaxy Watch. It does say Galaxy Watch right there pulling it out. A uh, little tab on there we'll pull that off in a second here and put that off to the side. Going further in the box we should reveal ourselves what looks to be a charger. So let me go ahead and grab this, or maybe this is just the USB cable, and yes it is. Micro USB though, so this thing is still kind of dated. I don't know why they don't just go to USB-C on everything. Um, this one right here, you can see this little dock for the charger here. If you have any other Samsung watch before it, it probably will work. I'll test it out a little bit further and let you know, but you can definitely see right there, pretty nice looking, but I just don't like how it charges with the micro USB. Let's go ahead and go over here to the other side and see what else comes in here. And you can see there is the wall adapter and down here we do have warranty guide. We'll read this when we all know what, when we're doing number two. Let's go ahead and put that over there, see what else is in here. And this should be the extra smaller wristband if the one you got was too big or something. Now the way Galaxy watches do work is they go in through pins, so do keep that in mind. So this is just for one side of it, I guess. So yeah, that's what was included there in the box. So that's pretty much it here for the Galaxy Watch. Very similar to what we see in the phone boxes, a black box with black accessories. So pretty clean stuff. There's a Galaxy Watch. We'll get into it a little bit more right now. Okay guys, so here we are with the Galaxy Watch. We're gonna go ahead and boot this up. You boot it up with the bottom button right here and see what we do get now. It's a 46 millimeter, so it's actually bigger than, you know, the other Galaxy watches, the gears and stuff like that, the gear sport you can get. However, we might see a bigger face on the newer sport watch rumor to launch alongside of the Galaxy S10 series. Now, this does have Super AMOLED display, 16 million colors, but across a 1.3 inch screen, it gives you 278 PPI. So you might be able to see a little tiny pixelation here or there, but it's not a big deal on a watch, it still should look pretty great. You do have a rotating bezel right here to select through things. We'll talk about that when we get further in this review. Now, you will need the gear app to go ahead and connect this watch. So I do have it loaded up here for the Note 9 and I'm gonna go ahead and hit the Galaxy Gear app and I'm gonna get this connected and we'll be back when I'm done. It's a pretty straightforward process. You just hit connect punch in the numbers and it connects pretty seamlessly through Bluetooth. Now also when you do get the watch, it'll showcase you how to use it, it'll give you a quick menu, how to use things on the watch, although it's pretty simple to use like I say. So there we are, we're done pairing already. Now you just gotta agree to the terms and conditions from the Samsung application and you'll be ready to install some watch faces. Okay, so we are now in the watch and you are running Tizen OS on here. So what is that? That's basically Samsung's proprietary operating system. They were going to put it on phones, but Android is just too far along now that it probably would hurt them more than help them. And people are developing a lot of watch applications in the Galaxy app store here for your watch. So there's a lot you can control right here in the app. I don't think it's as polished looking as the one on the Apple Watch for the iPhone. We'll cover that when we cover Series 4. But overall, I do like the amount of functionality and all the watch faces are right there front and center. You can download so many different watch faces on here and people actually custom develop these. So it's a lot more personalized customization here for the Galaxy 
watch on this device. So yes, you do get a fully featured application. And I think many of you will enjoy the level of personalization you do get with this. And you could change things like display settings, background styles, and sound and vibrations. You can change everything right here in an easy list format. I think it's pretty simple. I think it's actually easier to learn than even learning like a Samsung phone, for example. It's a list right here. You got your watch faces there and the pairing and connecting is just seamless. Okay, so we're a little bit closer up now. Take a look at that beautiful OLED screen. It just looks fantastic here. I think this is really nice the way it does operate. I wanna mention that this is a stainless steel body, something you'll pay two times the price to get on the Apple side of things. The watch is coming in at $299 right now at Samsung. They're probably gonna update this soon or with the Note 10 later this year, there might be another model. There might just be a sport model to go along with it, but two times the price to get stainless steel over on the Apple side. So this is a bargain for this material here on this device. So do keep that in the back of your mind when you are deciding which one to go with. Now, you could say it's an ecosystem thing. I don't want that watch. I wanna be in the Apple ecosystem. But the thing is, is that Samsung has the Galaxy app watch on the iPhone as well as Android. So they're not really tied down to the Samsung experience if you wanna use a Galaxy watch. You can use a Galaxy watch with an iPhone any day of the week where the reverse is not true. You cannot use an Apple watch with a Galaxy smartphone for example. So taking a closer look at the band that does come in the box, you can see this is the large model. It does say Galaxy Watch. And the backside does show the sensor for like heart rate and tracking and stuff like that. It does say Samsung Galaxy Watch right there. Design overall is still kind of similar to other Galaxy watches out there, just a little bit bigger with better battery life. Okay guys, so let's get a little wrist action going right here. So typically you can just scroll down here to access the notifications tray. You could change things like brightness, go to your settings, make a phone call. And phone calls is something that is different about this watch versus some of the other ones. You cannot make phone calls on something like the Gear Sport, for example. Now scrolling through this Tizen OS is pretty smooth and I think it's super simple. Like everything is super easy to use, add your workouts, play your music, check your news and just go through them. They're pretty self-explanatory. So I think a lot of people will enjoy this software, especially if you decide to pick one up. It's very simple. You don't even gotta think twice about how to use it. So if you click one time here on the bottom button, you can go through your scroll wheel here and you can get through to your gallery, music, reminders, find my phone. Yes, there is a find my phone feature. And you do have the alarm and the next page. And as you add applications, it will populate here around the Tizen OS. So definitely do enjoy this simplistic ease of use and I kind of like this sometimes more than the Apple Watch because the Apple Watch's apps are really tiny and they're all over the place and you got to kind of scroll around and tap things. On here you could just scroll through and then just tap the application you want to go in. So so the simplicity factor is on point here. So this is a Gorilla Glass DX Plus display so you don't really have to worry about this display scratching up too much. It does have always on as well if you want to use that. It will take a hit on the battery and to mention battery on this device, you're gonna get somewhere around 72 hours. So what's that, 24, 48, 72? That's three days of battery life here for the device. So what is my overall take on this watch? Well, it's pretty awesome because it's compatible with both Apple and Android, which I do like. You can actually have an Apple Watch and this and have them both connected to your iPhone and use whatever one you want any day of the week. So if you had a Galaxy Watch, just open up the Galaxy Watch app, connect to Bluetooth, you can use that use an Apple Watch, you can connect that. So you could have both if you're using an iPhone. If you're using Samsung, you can only use the Samsung Galaxy Watch or other Android Wear watches. You can also pay with this thing. The design, I would say, is a little conservative. It's not super in your face. It's, it looks like a watch that you would buy in the store, maybe like an $80, $100 watch that has stainless steel material. But at the same time, when you do customize it with your own bands, it starts to get a lot more personalized and stylish. So I do like you can make phone calls on here as well. And I love how long this battery life is on this watch. Not all watches can go 72 hours. So that's one of the big deals with this one. It's durable. It's made to last and I think you're gonna get your money's worth on the Galaxy watch if you can find it at 300 or less so overall I think it's just gonna offer up a really solid experience. that's super simple to use anyway What do you guys think of the Galaxy watch? Do you have one? Did you get one with your Samsung Note 9 when it dropped? It's been out for about six months now. Are you planning on getting one? 
Are you never using one and you're like going to use a different smartwatch? Go ahead and comment your thoughts down below. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, you can leave those down there as well. I will be happy to answer them. And if I can't, somebody else in the community will. Subscribe if you haven't already to see more videos like this. I will catch you all in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to be well and peace.